Okay, y'all, I'm back for to show y'all how the eco dyed papers came out. And I have a lot going on here. So these are the cloth that I tablecloth that I cut out and and put between or on top and bottom of the stack of papers. And you can see the tablecloth, the pattern. It looks like, like a paisley pattern to it. And so I'll go through that first. This is the first one I did with the... Now this one, it won't come out like this. I just put this on there. But if you'll recall, I used the neon food coloring. And I used the purple one. And I used six drops of it. And so that's where you're getting all this purple. Um, I mean, it's a dark, dark, dark midnight purple. And then I had just stuck some of the blue paper on top of it. And it was still wet, so it pulled through. So that turned out, oh, okay. I, I was not expecting that dark of a purple but anyway there there it is and then here is the tag that was in there that I had I bought this at a flea market and so I just left it on there and it kind of not but not really as much as I figured that it would And this is the the tie dye fab or dye because I I tie dyed some shirts for my daughter and my one of my sons a couple years ago, and so I this is from Dharma Trading Company and this is the robin egg blue, and I did not measure this I just poured some in there till I was happy with the color, and this is the color that I got and I know this is not nature's color this turquoise but I still like how it turned out and I really maybe I got a flower right there you can see the stem here and then come up here and then maybe the stem coming up here but I really didn't get flower imprints on that like I figured I would but I do love the color. Now this one did turn out. I could see. You can see it. And here's the stem coming up. And then a flower here. And then coming up more over here. I don't know if you can see the bottom here. And then this. I think this was just a weed over here. Well maybe. Maybe not. Maybe a little bud right there. I should have wrote, but I don't know my flowers, so I wouldn't have known what I was writing. But this one turned out, and I just love the blue. Blue on that. How that come out. And then this is the raspberry tie-dye powder that I used. And the same with it. I didn't measure. I just poured, poured some in until I was happy with the look that I... I got and this is let's see if you can see anything here so I would have folded here no I think these lines I know these lines are you see them right here is where the strings were this I used the raffia on here and I just this is what I tied it with so that's what these strings are here so there's really no pattern on this side of, of anything but this is a deep maybe right here might be a flower this is a deep eggplant color now that I'm thinking about it Just start trying to see which way 
fold it if it could see better the other way, but no, not really. Okay, back to what we was doing. And look how that, that pink come out in there. And then the same here. I put some of that, that blue on top of it, and it shone through. Can you see that paisley on there? And then this is the other side. I don't see really much on it. Yeah. Look on the other side. No, I don't see any prints on it. And then this, I just used as a wipe-up rag when I was cleaning, when it was boiling on the stove. And then when I was done with the last of it, I stuck it in the water and let it stay in there. So it's, it's still pretty though. But anyway, that's the cloth. Now, and, and some do the cloth, and some do, like, screen, uh, old-timey wooden, or indoor screen, window screen. They, they wrap that around there instead of the cloth. And, but I had, I had that, so I thought I would try that. Now, this is the purple neon colors in here and and I let these dry last night but these turned out okay they dry pretty fast and I love how they come out I really can't maybe right here you can see some some screenings of it more so on this page right here I think I'm going to stop this and put you on my wobbly tripod so you can get a better view of it hold on just a second okay I think this will do better I just have to be very careful because this is not stable at all but anyway this is the See how that turned out. And this is this is the copy paper. And so you can see there there will be little tears in it and stuff. But I did iron these and make them more crisp after they were pretty well dried. I'm going to stand up so I can see what y'all are seeing. But you can see the vines up here. And the same, same with this. I, I put some of that turquoise on there and it just kind of bled through. Now this one I got a little. This was my very first one and it was still very wet. And you really need to let them dry for a while before you separate them but I was too impatient so but I think that would still be pretty once it's scanned because you can see it's up here up in here another there and this one I don't know that side didn't get I don't know if this was in the middle and it just didn't get, take much color but you can see I had going this way, and this way, and the same over here. And I love the way it feels. And you had a lot going up here, going that way. So you got purple here, but not hardly any there.
but look at that marbling of that. Is that just not beautiful? One up there, ten more across here. I mean, you could see where the yellow did the. It was a yellow that yellow, those yellow flowers. You can see where they kind of did color color off some. And this just looks like a garden with everything going up. There are more yellow flowers right here. I don't know what. I'm trying to think what I might have put there. I really loaded this one down, you can tell. And I'm just wondering if this might have not been closer and this kept these from being closer to the paper. But just look at that. Very unique. And that's the food coloring one. So the next pieces of paper are the robin egg blue. And this one, I tore it all to pieces. <laughs> but it, oh, I just love the color. I can't wait to get these scanned in and see how this, they scan in. And this one I had like a little, I don't, I don't even know what it was, but it was a little ball, a purple ball, and it was had some kind of needles on it, and it poked through. And I put another one right here, and so it did puncture. But you can see where the yellow flowers were here. That's part of that paper that ripped off. And this one, I mean, you can see them, but there's not really much, much going on on this one. But it still was pretty, I think. And this one was the roses that I had got out of my backyard, and they did wonderful. But, and I don't know, that almost looked like a dandelion, but I know I didn't, I didn't have a dandelion. But, but we went to Walmart, is that not beautiful? Went to Walmart today because I wanted to try to, look at that, to pick up some more watercolor paper. And, of course, they didn't have any. They just had mixed media paper. And it wasn't thick. Look at that splotching there. I mean, it, on the camera, it looks like clouds. I mean, it's just that white and blue. But it's more, it's more of a turquoise in the real color. But Walmart didn't have any, any of the flowers that I was talking about in the last video that I wanted to try and no watercolor papers so I think what I'm going to do this was a leaf you can see maybe turn it up the leaf right going up there the vines but I think what I'm going to do I have a couple of more sheets of 
mixed media or not mixed media watercolors and you can still see some of the yellow fly flowers are still on there and I couldn't really get them off because when I was ironing them last night so I just thought well I'll just leave them there that gives it more detail but you can see where they went we're going up here's one right here but anyway I think next time what I'm going to do is just not boil the copy paper as long and see if that will work and you can tell that was a big rose and my rose bush out in the backyard it's almost gone I don't know if I'll be able to salvage any more from it and this is more of the this is the um, raspberry that I threw on top you can see there was flowers the more of those yellow flowers right there but just can you see that detail of those veins and this one Left some of that. Yeah, there it is. Left some of that on there. You can tell there's a flower going there. That almost looks like one of the yellow flowers. Something coming up here. So that is the robin egg blue color. And this is the raspberry color and this is the one that's on the watercolor paper and it just reacted so much better but uh, I mean I'm going to give that the copy paper a try again and just not copy it but this did so I just loved how it turned out You get so much more out of it. Until the blue that I laid on there. You tell that's a yellow flower. Those probably were too, because I had a lot of yellow flowers. And this, more flowers I guess, because they're going that way, and going that way. And coming up out of here, just beautiful. Looks like right here might have been more roses might have been because right there there's one going up okay. and then another one I don't know what that was and this was the different leaves there was I didn't put nope this ain't the one I had leaves. I think I just kind of, at this point, this might have been one of my bottom ones. And this just got all the scraps that I had left over. And I just kind of bunched them all in there. It looks almost like wheat. A stem of wheat. But this, this right here, these are two different. And I must have lined them up perfect. But this one was um, almost budding flowers. I mean, they what I couldn't even tell what color they were. And these was real thin and just little bitty buds of purple. Almost, I would say almost like a lavender bud. But they were so tiny. And I didn't get very many of them.
You see, they were so delicate you can't, you can't really make them out on this side of what they are. I don't know if y'all know Jamie Johnson, <laughs> but I love him. In one of his CDs, it it's a side profile of him and then on this other side <clears throat> it's kind of like this but it kind of matches his side profile <clears throat> and this reminds me of that if y'all if y'all know if you're a fan of jamie johnson you'll know what i'm talking about on one of the cds and then this is just nothing but leaves i just put leaves i think I put one here one there one there one here and one here they just, they did very good. And then on the back of here, it's two different. You can tell I had more yellow going this way and this way and then this one over here. But, so anyway, this, the, the raspberry... As much as I like that robin egg blue, because I love that turquoise blue, I think this was my favorite. So anyway, when I was at Walmart, I was looking for more lace for my lace dyed avocado, and I came across this. And this was on, I don't know, I don't buy much fabric from Walmart because I don't. <laughs> oh, I was going to show you this too. This was, this is the raffia, raffia that I had done. And this is the raspberry. And then this is, of course, the turquoise twine. Baker's twine. And this was the purple egg food coloring. Not egg food, food coloring. So back to this. So I'd seen this and I thought, well, this would work. And so I just had her. And y'all, this is so cheap. It Can you see all those patterns? And, and there's, I guess, two different ones. But they go crisscross. And I, I just, I got, let's see how much was here. I want to say five-eighths of a yard. I don't know, whatever whatever this is. And y'all probably can't see all of that. Let me see if I can zoom out. So whatever this is, and of course, this come on a, I would want, want to call it a commercial, kind of like upholstery roll, where it's the long, long bolsters. So you get quite a bit, and and for all of this, I mean you can see how much is here. I only paid three eleven for it, and, and it's vinyl, and so I think I think it will tie dye very good, and you can see see through that through that. So I'm excited to get back in there and do some more of avocado and cabbage and coffee dyeing. But I also started, I had cut out on my silhouette different spools, bobbins, uh, uh, different people call them different things. And I had cut them out to put them in my digital kit, or not my digital kits, but my kits journal kits on Etsy just to part of part of it and I was going to dye some of them and I really wish I would have thought about it while I was dyeing the doing the eco dyeing because I would have loved to just dip this in the colors just to give them some colors but I have those four different styles and I wrap these up and then I, I mean the it I put in the brads in them and just wrapped different laces that I have so I was wondering if you would comment below and let me know if you would be interested 
and purchasing just these alone I mean I would put them in my Etsy shop but you all you gotta do is stick a little bulb pin in them and they're good to go the only thing I have found because I had bought some lace like this one time hmm. that's just been cut out <laughs> I just just now noticed that can y'all see that but I had bought this at a oh Canton days trade days one time and they used I mean this is some thick thick it's a lot thicker and this is just regular white cardstock but it is a lot thicker than than this right here so I, I really don't know I have a bunch of manila folders let me see if I can find one close to me I don't think I have one I think I've put them all over in my bin garbage bin but the only thing is they wouldn't be the white but just comment and leave me a comment below and let me know if you'd be interested in in purchasing these and I'm, I mean I know it's whatever they would cost and I haven't even figured that up but I was working on these for myself and I just the whole I, when I cut them out it, the deal come with the it was already punched and then I just stuck the reinforcement hole on there and then put a brad in there and just spooled that through there and it has a little hat they each have a little slit to slide it in there and that's why this would be perfect for like real thin or embroidering floss but for this lace like this it's not very sturdy and it I mean it's just not no I would I would have to put that on there run that through there and then still tape it on the back which then would be useless because then when you tore that tape off you'd be tearing part of this and it's not weak anyway see because like right there it it's, doesn't stick in and and she stapled both ends but I hate that too because when you tear that out you're going to have that I mean you could use a stapler but anyway so I went today and I cleaned up my shop and got it ready I had start seeing clients in the morning and I worked on it a lot and I, my husband had got me some plants for Mother's Day and so I pot planted them and then we got some more today at Walmart and so I got all of them planted but I, I want I was going to go out and get some more wildflowers but I didn't get out I was I was too tired when I got all that done so I not I don't have anything to eco dye but I have several more dye colors I probably got one two three four five six seven different more colors that I really want to try and my next week is is pretty busy with clients since it's the first week back but I'm hoping to get back around this weekend and start dying some more and I mean we'll I'll see if I can't get what well, we don't come up with with those but this is and then this is I just tied with sorry silk and then these are the ribbons part of it I clipped it off but anyway so keep an eye out for the videos the end of the week for more of the eco dying and thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you later bye bye